And here we are with episode two of Medal of Honor Warfighter. This is right where I left off um, with yesterday's episode. We are in the Philippines, Isabella City, inspired by actual events. Now, I wonder how much, how accurate these inspired um, events actually are in these games, because for most. I don't really think most video games are really that accurate in terms of inspired events, but I could be wrong on that. I would say movies are, but movies can have the same flaw. Ooh, F to melee. Well, I like that. I took a little tomahawk to his leg. Let's do it again. Uh oh. The only problem is it's Is it just me or is it really hard to see in this game? Like the color color correction and the lighting is just maybe it's the flares. I don't know what it is, but it's really difficult for me to see things. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm playing this game maxed on all settings except the resolution. I can play it at full resolution. Everything's on ultra. The only problem is is that when I play it on um, full 1920 by 1280, uh, which is you know 1080p resolution, um, for every like 30 seconds, it's like five gigs. So even if I'm using like a, a full you know thousand thousand um, gigabyte hard drive. For like 30 seconds, and each 30 seconds is like 5 gigabytes, that's almost it. My hard drive fills too fast. So I'm playing at a lower resolution. But the graphics in this game aren't terrible. I mean, it's using the Frostbite Engine 2, which was what Battlefield 3 is on. It look, The game looks nice. Oh, a double headshot. Boom! Headshot! That one did not work. Oh crap, grenade, grenade, grenade! And here we gotta go through the slow-mo again. Why do you have to do this way too much? I'm getting bored of this. Overuse of overuse of slow mo is not my is not something I enjoy. Explosion, explosion, explosion. That's what Weezy Waiter does in his videos. When he used to have Explosion Wednesday. Explosions.
nice that the lens flares are just as bad as the Battlefield 3. They're so bright you just get blinded by a flashlight. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just annoying. And then I died. And that's why I don't like this game, is number one, it's really hard to see the enemies, even when they're dead out in the open because of the weird color correction problem. That, I don't know what it is, but it just, it's really hard to see people. Ow. I think I'm gonna try a P90. Where's that P90? Hold the pickup. Oh, that's an 870. That's a shotgun. I don't want a shotgun. But if I'm gonna go in a house, maybe I do need one. Slow mo yet again. If you hear any loud noises in the background, that's because my mom is using a wheat machine, so I apologize for that. It's really, really loud. It sounds like, uh, uh, it's difficult to describe the sound, but that's when I... That all the bullets don't even go through the walls in this game, it seems like. AK. Ooh, AK, I love the AK. I, this gun has some serious recoil, damn. And look at that, that guy just randomly just stands there shooting at me. Oh wow, look at the river. That's kind of a cool environment for a level though, the flooding. I really like this AK gun much better than the gun I was previously using that they equipped me with. Fuck! Right? Oh, come on, my guy just lets him run over there. 
I got a dumb character, that's for sure. Mom, pop your head out. The guys just randomly run out in the open to get killed. How smart of them. That's what intelligent people do, right? If this was Battlefield 3, I could blow off parts of that, the, the pillow right there, but it's not. It's Medal of Honor, where realism is not real. Shit, why did I just throw my own gun? Uh. Give me some ammo, guy. I need ammo. Shotgun? Okay, do it. Mark. Come on, teammate, can you hurry up, please? Like, you're really slow. 
like how slow he's walking. He must be like an old crippled man. Hurry up! So I couldn't open the door, but he could. Roger that, Voodoo. What do you see? The half dozen hostages, men and women, three armed guards. Wait. Who is that? I can't get a good look. Oh shit! It's Beard Man again. Yay! General Pereira, we have eyes on a high value target. We have Marwan Al Khalifa. We have our man in position. Stand down. General, our men have the target in sight. We can take the shot. Stand down, mother. Shit. We got another person. <laughs> Tell me, what moment is that? The reason we are here to strike at the eagle. You fool! You are the reason I am here! And your incompetence brought me to this fatal sewer of the, the Shake, we have done everything! We've taken hostages! Fuck! Maro shots fired! He shot a hostage! Negative, he shot one of their guys! Who is the guy? Oh. General, we cannot ID the I only want to interpret when they talk. Low. The train bombings. Basilon. They're connected. P E T N. He was there. Who? Khalifa. Martyr's ass right in front of me. Took 35 people along with him. There were attacks at other stations. They chatters through the roof. I'm not coming back. I'm out. Twelve of those thirty-five were kids. We did that POI in Basilan. Saad al Din, aka Ibrahim al Najdi. Things are gonna get worse. Tom, everything okay? Yeah, we're good. What's going to get worse? Doesn't concern us. You can't keep doing this. Whatever's going on out there affects you, affects us. <laughs> her little girl doesn't even look human. Look like a part zombie and expect vampire teeth to pop out of her face. <laughs> preacha. Preacha, preacha, preacha. Excuse me. Oh, wonderful. That's really awesome. Like the first few seconds I start the mission, I die. Ha ha ha. Because the AI just stands there out of no place and just starts shooting me. Medal of Honor has always had 
terrible AI. For once, if they could do something right with their AI, maybe it would be worth playing, but this game is just pure shit so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, they're stupid grenades. They always throw grenades. Is that all they can do is throw grenades? The recoil in this game is pretty realistic, though, because it's it's really actually shooting people doesn't exactly hit them where you fire, so that's good. Sorry, but for some reason I will not my character prone, you stupid idiot. Pro God fucking damn it. You piece of fucking shit. Character would not get on the ground. I pressed prone five different times. Thank you. Taco bus, yum yum. Oh, no, I guess it wasn't a taco bus. I mean, you move out of the way, you stupid moron. God. Finally, do some actual damage to these dumb guys.
We're soldiers, you shouldn't... We go in and get those hostages. They're dead if we don't move now. From this point on, I have control of this. Okay. Switch your radios to one four. We listen to this man only. We're going after the hostages. I need two of your best men with us. Ikao, and Ikao. So mama call you commander. We're going left. Take your team to the right. We'll link up inside. Understood? Get moving. La 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 la. Gosh, these guys move too slow. Come on, run, run. I like waiting for my teammates to do anything, do stuff. See how dark it is? Man. Everybody, Why don't bullets go through things? That's what I don't like about this game. 
Ugh. Like, I'm shooting this metal. See the, all these little holes in the metal thing? My bullets should go through that. At least Call of Duty has that option. This game also seems to really like explosions. <laughs> See, look at that. See that guy right there? Fire, fire. He's able to shoot right through that, and I'm not. That is bullshit. That is pure bullshit. You want to get me to hate your game? That's You can start off by doing that. There's a guy right behind us. Can you see that? That guy was right behind us, and my teammates are in front of him, not doing, not even taking him out. Ugh. At least I can blow pots down. You realize I actually could not take a door down like that before. Door, you cannot, you cannot kick a door in with your back leg hitting the door like he does. That's like the weakest part. I mean, if you do a front, if you do you know, like a forward kick to in the door, then yeah. But if you if you stand. You're with your back to the door and kick the door in with the back of your ankle. That <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have like no force to to knock the door down like that. All right, everybody in. We're moving. Finally, some action or something. Roger that. 
<laughs> the dialogue in this game is really difficult to pick up on, too. Yeah, this looks really safe. Another explosion. Hostage health in the corner is going down, but there's nothing I can do about it. Well, this finishes episode two. Eh, I didn't like episode two. I didn't really care for episode one. So I'll have episode three up in a bit. Thanks for watching, guys.